we know that in solving the many, many problems and our great challenges, faith is more powerful than government, and nothing is more powerful than God. Since the signing of the Declaration of Independence 241 years ago, America always affirmed that liberty comes from our Creator. Our rights are given to us by God, and no earthly force can ever take those rights away. Our religious liberty is enshrined in the very First Amendment in the Bill of Rights. The American founders invoked our Creator four times in the Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin reminded his colleagues at the Constitutional Convention to begin by bowing their heads in prayer. Faith has forged the identity and the destiny of this great nation that we all love. Our nation will be renewed by hard work, a lot of intelligence, and prayer. We don't want to see God forced out of the public square, driven out of our schools, or pushed out of our civic life. We want all children to have the opportunity to know the blessings of God. Prayer changes hearts, transforms lives. It uplifts the soul, inspires action, and unites us all. We thank God for the faith of our people. We praise God for the blessings of freedom. And whether we are black or brown or white, and you've heard me say this before, we all bleed the same red blood. We all salute the same great American flag. And we are all made by the same almighty God. We ask God to forever bless this magnificent land that we all love so much. America, thank you. God bless you, and God bless the United States. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much.